Hi, my name is Shauna. I'm product engineer at CX Tech. Today I'm going to talk about the 1140Es. In case some of you don't know, if you have deployed the 1140Es in your environment, you might have come across a power board issue. Now this is a noted issue from Avaya. Sometimes the power boards will fail and what you will notice, you'll probably think that the display has gone bad on the phone. But if usually when you unplug the phone and plug it back in, the power board will blow. You'll get the two lights up top, the red and blue, and nothing on the display. Now a lot of times people think that the display went bad when it truly is the power board. So what I want to show you guys is the power board. This plugs in in the inside of the phone. And what we do here at CX Tech is replace every single power board on every phone that we stock. Typically the ones that were manufactured by Nortel, now Avaya, had a five year lifespan. So if you start noticing after five years that they start going, that would be the reason. Now one other thing that I wanted to show you guys before we finish is the factory reset of the phone. Now if you have the latest firmware, which is C6E and higher, you can go ahead and now factory reset these phones. Typically what I do is take the MAC address, which is located on the back of the phone. You can see it. Maybe if we zoom in a little bit, you can see the MAC address there on this rectangle sticker on the back of the phone. I take this and I write it down because it's going to be useful in the factory reset process. And it's a lot easier if you have it written down than trying to flip the phone over. So basically I wrote that MAC address down. So I'm going to go ahead and factory reset this phone. You start by hitting star, star, and then we're going to put in 73639, which is reset. And then we're going to type in that MAC address. The MAC address of this phone is 98D. So we're going to use 388C. So we're going to use 2, 2, 4, 5, 3, 0, 2 pound pound okay once you see the Avaya sign you know the phone's been factory reset so from here on you can just unplug the cord and that's basically how you factory reset 1140E I hope you learned a lot about the power board issue um, any questions contact someone at CX Tech